the victory is a two-point margin for the Lady Raiders of Texas Tech. We always say from day one, you know, that the sky was kind of the limit, and, and I think those kids proved that. This is the most incredible thing that has happened in my basketball career, and I'm so excited and so thrilled. That's the greatest feeling I've ever had, and I don't even think I've realized it yet. I'm still a little bit numb, but I think we'll wake up one of these days and realize what a great deal this is. From the time I was blessed enough to become the coach at Texas Tech, I had uh, visions of us doing great things, and mainly because we were surrounded by such great high school basketball, and there was a great junior college conference that was around us, and I felt like that you know you had an opportunity to put great players in the program. One thing that I remember was everybody saying, "Texas Tech, who is that?" <laughs> Um, Lubbock. Where is Lubbock, Texas? And we were just a bunch of little girls from West Texas that no one had ever heard of. The one thing that stood out to me was how many girls were from Texas and, and how many of the players were from West Texas. Ten out of twelve people from, from on the team that year were, were from with a hundred mile radius of Lubbock. It was a time when the best fundamentals in women's basketball were being taught in the Panhandle and in West Texas. We felt like that the way that they had coached those kids in high school was, was similar to what we wanted the, our team to look like at Tech. They sold the fact of we are a rising program. A lot of people started asking me, why do you want to go to Tech? I kind of asked Krista about it and she was like, well Kim, I want to go to Tech because I know that down the road that we can be one of those teams that start to knock the other teams off that have been up there for so long. And she said, now I want to be a part of that. Lyndon Weiss, Roger Redding, and, and Coach Sharp had done such a good job of recruiting West Texas and getting the best players there. Uh, they were able to get Cheryl Swoops, but the supporting cast around Cheryl Swoops was, was an amazing group of young ladies. Yeah, there might be more athletic kids or more physically talented players down in Houston, down in the they weren't getting the coaching. They didn't have the background. They didn't have the history that you had going back 30 years or more in some of these small panhandle towns and South Plains towns. We really tried to go out and find the best in West Texas and try to convince them that it was West Texas against the world whenever we went and played games. And I think they kind of bought into that. That's what made the championship season so memorable for a lot of people from Lubbock is that you grew up watching a lot of these girls play high school basketball. You felt like you knew them, you felt like you were a part of the program, and it was a feeling like no one's ever had uh, when you look at, at Texas Tech athletics. To win a national championship and to do it with young women who were from your area, uh, it was such a good feeling very intelligent girls. We knew that if they can't stop our first option, why would we go to a second option? Cheryl Swoops was the most dominant player in women's college basketball. Swoops. Oh. Cheryl is as good as any female that I have seen in women's basketball. And I'm talking Cheryl Miller, Lynette Woodard. I'm talking about the greats of the game. Swoops with a turnaround and she's on fire. For a while, I, I don't think there's any question she was the best player in the world. One of the best to ever play. She did everything. It, it seemed to her effortless because it was just smooth and she was so athletic. Nobody uh, liked her and really I haven't seen anybody like her since. In my opinion, she was, she was the greatest female player that I have ever seen. No doubt about it. I'd like to thank the WBCA and champion for like to me as a player of the year, it means a lot to me. Thank you. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, she had it. Uh, she was amazing. It's one thing to have the talent, then it's another thing to develop it. It's another thing to live with it every day the way she had to at that level and know, by and large, we'll go as far as I go on a national scene. First of all, she's a tremendous athlete. And the second thing, she's a great competitor. I have coached players who are as good athletes as Cheryl, but I have never coached one that had the mentality that whatever it took to win, she was about that. She was never the diva, if you will. I mean, when it came down to practice, I guarantee you one thing, no one worked harder than she did. And I got to guard her every day during practice, and I think that's what made me the player that I ended up being, but uh, she worked so hard, she didn't make it um, all about her. 
and, I'm, and that's a lot of pressure, and that's, that's something that falls on great players, but she handled it. They believed in her so much, but she was also all about not letting them down. Teammates tend to get overlooked at times or overshadowed, but to me it was always bigger than me. It was about my team. None of us were jealous. None of us even thought about um, you know, saying that we were just a one-man team even. I mean, I know we got that a lot that year. I remember answering that question a ton about her, you know, being the one, but, but she was so gracious and, of us and knowing that she had to have us if we were gonna win this team sport. Somebody had to make the passes. Somebody had to play defense. Somebody had to be good enough to demand being guarded on the perimeter or in the post. You know, all those things had to happen in order for her to have the ability to do what she did. And it, it's all too easy to forget what was going on around her. And her understanding of that and the rest of the team's understanding of, of I hate to say role players because it sounds like it denigrates what they did. And it, it wasn't. They all had an equal job. She just got the points because she was really good at that.